Hey folks, Animana here, and I thought I'd finally get around to making a best guild farming quests uh, guide. So I'm going to be starting off with this one with two missions. We're going to be going over the Wicked Wyvern and Deja Vu, because I believe those are currently the best, or at least some of the easiest farming quests. So we do have the Wicked Wyvern first, or Wyvern, whatever you pronounce it. This is a level 32 quest, which is pretty easy to get to. It should be around about uh, southwest on the map to unlock. So on top of this, you're going to get 3,450 gil. But then the Wyvern Wings and the Dragon Claws also can add up to some good bonus gil as well. So we'll go over that once we've had some of those dropped. But there is going to be a bunch of Scorpions as well, which aren't too much of a hassle. You can probably get some items off of those. But these are the specific items that are going to be the, the valuable items that you are going to be selling afterwards. So this is a very easy mission. You're going to get 12 of these Scorpions or Reaper Tails that are going to spawn first off. Wipe them down with something like Blazaga. I believe they're pretty weak against most weapons. But uh, I, I could be wrong there, <laughs> but they are not difficult. The only difficult part here is these uh, flying enemies here, the Thunder Rocks. They're just annoying. You can actually do Blazaga on the ground and you're going to hit them out of the air, which is pretty decent. Otherwise, I'm sure a lot of you aerial aces out there are going to be dominating them with your, uh, I guess, Dragon Whiskers. And they're going to you know be gone in no time and the Wyverns or Wyverns are going to be spawning. And... They're not too bad. They've got about, I think, uh, off the top of my head, I don't know, I can probably count it here, maybe about 50,000 health or something like that. I'm hitting them for, you know, these 9999s. Maybe they've got about just under 100,000, maybe 80,000. I'm sure it probably said it at the start of my guide. And look at me going back. They've actually got 72,000 hit points. But if you use Blazaga, they're going to go down really easily. And there's only two of them. So they're going to be dropping those Wyvern Wings and those Dragon Claws as well, which we'll get to in a moment. But you can see here we have the Tally Up screen. It doesn't actually show us the amount of gil that we can sell those items for, unfortunately. But you can see I've had two Dragon Claws drop and three Wyvern Wings or Wyvern Wings. We've also got some Tiny Feathers, Thunder Rock Feathers and Scorpion Barbs as well as the 3,450 gil and 600 and, or 6,800 kilowatts of Meteor Shards that, you know, maybe this is a decent mission to farm. I actually think this is on par in terms of kilowatts as good as Double Dead Eyes, but it's a lot easier because you don't have to deal with that annoying confusion that those Havoc Fangs put you through. Uh, this is really annoying. But anyway, we're going to get up to Dave here, and we're going to do a little bit of tallying. So you can see the Wyvern Wings sell for 600 gil, and the Dragon Claw sell for 410 gil. So tallying that, we have the Reward Gil, which is 3,450, plus two Dragon Claws, which add up to 820 gil, and three Wyvern Wings that add up to 1,800 gil. So a total from that mission... If I was to sell these, I would be getting in the ballpark of about 6,000 gil per run if we're going to be getting that many items per run. We may get a little bit less, we may get a little bit more, but I feel like this is a pretty good mission. Maybe working your way up to Golden Key or just past when you want to get a few levels or maybe some, some of those aesthetic items that are really expensive from Hidden Harbor. This is a good way to go about it if you are pretty weak or kind of mid-range. After that though, once you've got those Diaga daggers, or maybe you've got Diara, I would recommend going into Deja Vu, maybe with Lightbound from, I believe, a Behemoth Incisor. I could be wrong again there, it could be a Behemoth Horn, but uh, Light-based attacks do very well here. These enemies drop pretty good items as well in terms of uh, like stats and stuff like that. Black Fan, Flan, Flan, has a... <laughs> A, uh, ability to drop a Tainted Club, which is the Vitanova, and the Tombury can also drop Kitchen Knives, and then the Mutant Deathclaw can drop the Amino Harbakiri, so you've got quite a bit of, you know, I guess a pool of items that you can sell here. There's actually a massive list, and the weapons, you know, you maybe only need one or two of them unless you want to have four of them, but outside of four of each of those weapons, it's pointless. And you can sell those weapons for some pretty good return on investment of time, I guess. But now we have the Deja Mu mission. As I've mentioned, go in with Diaga or Diara and you are going to do incredibly well. Uh, I'm sure that you could go in with Dragon Whisker as well and do really well. Also, you can see that I'm using Diaga primarily in this mission. I don't actually use anything else. Tonberries are going down in one cast. This is using 3,400 magic points as well as multicast. 
And then the uh, the black flans are going down in about two casts as well. There is another iron giant that is going to spawn in just a moment. I believe that one is going to go down in about two casts of Diara or Diaga. I'd say Diaga. I don't know about Diara because I haven't used it in ages. Uh, but here he is. I think it's like Chandvara or something like that. But this also drops the divine armor, as you can see there. Two cast. It was a two cast, I believe it was. There we go. Look, I've already got him down. And then we're going to go to the Nagarini. Nagarini drops the Naga necklace. This one is the more annoying enemy in the mission because of how unruly and unpredictable it is. But this one can probably go down in about two and a half casts of that Diara. Or Diaga, sorry, I keep saying Diara. It's a much nicer word. Uh, but anyway, we've got the Mutant Deathclaw here spawning. Uh, this is the one where you're going to be farming this mission to get the Amino Harbakiri, which is a decent-ish weapon. Uh, it's a cool-looking weapon as it has the Lion's Roar ability. You're going to go for those breaks on this. You know if you don't get it, if you get the Squirming Bone, which isn't too bad an item. You can always sell it if you are farming Gil. But this mission, I've actually gone in, and it's about... I'd say just a little bit under or over uh, the time invested to do the Wicked Wyvern mission. So it's up to you what you feel is the best in terms of gaming that time use. I'm sure there's also other missions. I'd love to hear about those in the comments. But for me, this mission has been incredible for farming Gil. Uh, I get quite a few items as we're going to see at the end screen here. And I also mentioned some of the other items and how, that, how much they sell for also. So, I've got one Squirming Bone, one Divine Armor, two Black Flan Oozes, and one uh, Tattered Rag. I've also got 7,850 gil from this, and 11,120 uh, kilowatts, which probably has no purpose at this point, because at this point in the game you could go and sell... Uh, you know, your gil for kilowatts anyway, so that's not a huge thing. But, that is what we've made from this mission right now. So again, jumping into this Dave uh, selling screen, Tattered Rags go for 222, 222, Black Flans for 150, so two of the Black Flans we've got is 300 gil. Uh, there is some other items as well I'm going to go over as we have had some of those drop, but you know, these are kind of decent-ish items. I actually went past the Divine Armor there, I'm sorry. Um, the Naga Necklace goes for 280 gil. Which is, I believe, a pretty decent item in terms of going for some, you know, some average magic and also uh, spirit. We've got the Squirming Bone, which goes for 600 gil. So I believe that is the best. I don't know. Actually, the Divine Armor is a lot better. See, I'm going for this. I'm looking for it. And I'm thinking of the Divine Whiskers. And then I'm like, nah. But if you could farm those Divine Whiskers, if you get them to drop enough, 2,500 gil is pretty good. But they are a very low drop rate. Um, but anyway... Divine Armor, as I was mentioning, 850 gil. There you go. Best item that you can get to drop. So I've got one of those there. So we do have some weapons that are going to drop as well. As I mentioned, we've got three enemies to drop them. The Tombri are going to drop the Kitchen Knife. You have four chances of them dropping those in the missions. And I've had pretty high drop rates from them dropping these. So there you go, 1,500. If you have four of those, that's 6,000 in the bag right there. So that's a, a pretty decent markup. And then we've also got the Tainted Club, which goes for 1,475. You can got two chances of getting those off of the Black Oozes. Now, I'd also mention the Amino Habakiri, but this is not an item you'd probably sell because I've only had one drop in the number of months that I've been playing this quest. So I wouldn't recommend that one. But next up, we're going to get into tallying all these items that we have received now from this mission. So remembering, we started out, we get 7,850 gil from this mission. And on top of the items that we've received, we've received one divine armor, which is 845 gil. We've received one tattered rag, which is 222 gil. We've also got two black oozers, which total together equal 300 gil. We got one squirming bone at 600 gil as well. And I'm not going to factor in any of the weapons because I didn't have those drop, but those are another thing as well. But total this run, I've received 9,817 gil. So you can imagine uh, that as a minimum before even factoring in weapons. I could probably run about 15 of those and there I go. I've got one of the one of the face pieces or whatever they are from uh, the Hidden Harbor. So if this says, put some seeds in your mind on how to get Gil a lot faster, give us that thumbs up. 
I recommend also hitting the subscribe and that bell if you want to see some more guides for comrades because we are coming into a new patch and we're going to have a lot of content I'm going to be covering and I don't want you just always to miss out. So if you want to hit the bell, you're going to get that first and you are going to be ahead of the curb. Otherwise, comment below if you believe there are other missions that are worthwhile on Farming Guild as well. I'm Anna Mana. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day, morning, evening, or night, wherever you are in the world, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.